here we are with uh, my joint school lesson number four at shoerainer.com. Uh, I am Shoe Rainer. Um, and I've been emailed by Phil Nelson who asked me could I help him to learn to draw gorillas. So uh, I started looking at gorillas. I've never drawn them before when I think about it. And they're really difficult. Now I know why he wanted help. Uh, and I, now I know why Anthony Brown has kind of collared the market in gorilla stories. Uh, if you've never seen Anthony Brown's gorilla books, you should. Um, so I started kind of doodling. I, I googled um, up gorillas to see what I could find. And you can see my little sketchbook here. I've been um, sketching away, trying things. He also asked me to have a look at orangutans, which I'm going to have a go at next. Um, and the, the really, really difficult thing about gorillas is, is that they're all so very, very different. Um, and it's kind of what kind of gorilla to draw. So this is my other sketchbook here. Um, I've been trying to draw, trying various things, various ways of drawing gorillas. Um, I don't know if you, it's quite hard to do this without setting up all my lights. I quite like him. I think I'm going to have him for myself, so I'm not going to teach you how to draw him. Um, but this is the guy here that I've come up with in my sketchbook. And uh, so that's what I'm going to work on. And if I move the sketchbook out, then I can get, let's see what we can do. Now, I kind of worked out, this is kind of bean shape that is kind of the um, the essence of a gorilla and that's his body. And you've got a kind of a bean shape for his head as well. And um, it's this bean thing, I think, is, is the thing that really does it. Um, and in there, you're going to need this kind of shape in there. And you're going to have two little eyes kind of staring at you there. Um, now this bean here comes over into the nose, but not completely, because that's going to kind of come like that. This is really, really quite difficult to explain this somehow, because I suppose all my other characters I've known and drawn so many times that I know them really well. Um, so I'm just going to draw it really. Um, the other thing about the grill is they have very, very powerful, powerful shoulders. So that's going to come kind of like that, like that, and like that and then we need to have some hands it's going to go kind of like that something like that long fingers um, they're going to be something like that and the legs come like that I've tried I tried drawing it in a kind of humanistic way um, and making him stand up but they just kind of they lose some of their dignity standing up and pretending to be humans. So uh, I prefer, I think if I was going to do a character, I'd have him as a proper gorilla um, and draw him this way. Now I'm going to do my uh, Sharpie bit and see what happens. I haven't actually tried doing this bit so far. I've drawn him all in pencil so far, so we'll see what happens. Uh, like that. And over the top like that. So, again, as I've shown before, draw in pencil underneath, and then um, ink on top, and then when you finish, then you can rub out the uh, pencil, and you end up with a wonderful looking finished drawing that people would think you just knocked out without any preparation. Right, like that. How about that's looking good? And I think we want to have something like that. And just a little kind of wiggliness on the line gives it that kind of hairy look. Like that. That's looking okay. And then a bit of, bit of a hairy bottom. Oh, did I say that? Always gets the children laughing in class if you say hairy bottoms. I remember that. Maybe I should do more gorilla things. Maybe I should write a gorilla story about hairy bottoms. Maybe I'm missing out on something here. Um, like that. And I feel this needs a bit of kind of darkness around the eyes. Just 
to kind of bring the eyes out a bit more like that. I'm not sure. Anyway. I think that because gorillas are so dark, they're actually very hard to draw in pen. So maybe the thing is then to colour it in. Uh, but I'll leave that up to you. And I hope that helps. A gorilla. Oh, I haven't done his nose. Let me get that right. Gorilla. Oh, I forgot the important thing. Rub out the pencil. Rub out the pencil. And that will make it look so much better. There, when the camera stops shaking. A gorilla. Hope that helps, Phil. <laughs> Let me know.